Well, good morning. Today is Wednesday, March 20th. You know, the older you get, the faster these things go by. Hello, my friends. And guess what I did? I talked all the way here to my peeps, my friends. You have peeps? I have peeps. Oh, oh. She claims. I don't, I don't like peeps. You know, those little Easter peeps. I like those. I don't like the peeps. But anyway, I talked for the whole time, which is what? You think about a 10 minute drive? Yeah. If that. They're tired of listening to you, so they need to hear from me. That's true. But I forgot, <laughs> I forgot to hit the record button. <laughs> I was talking to myself. Uh, yes, you were. So now we got to start. Today is Wednesday. And it's swim day. It's March 20th. It's spring day. It's spring. Was it spring yet or tonight? Tonight, 5 o'clock. See, she's rushing the season. Rushing the season. Uh, that's me. That's me. But she's got a baseball cap on. That she usually doesn't wear a baseball cap. I don't normally. But my hair's a mess. Because uh, I slept. It's always a, it's always a mess. <laughs> it is not. We were thinking of, just real quick, we were thinking of stopping water aerobics and just go for a walk. So on the way to water aerobics the other day, we decided that when Birdie's done with all of her punches, I think she's got three more. Yeah, after the day two. We were just going to walk instead of go to water aerobics and just keep water aerobics for a winter activity. And so we agreed on that before we got there. Yeah. I said, because, you know, they're not really going to miss us. Yeah. And so then we said, she doesn't really work us that hard. Izzy's just been kind of lean on us. Not, not on Monday she wasn't. Monday she worked our butts off. It's like she had a little bug in Bertie's car. And everybody said, where have you guys been? <laughs> because Bertie's been working. And it was like, I told Bertie that we're not taking her car today because her car is bugged. Yes, it is. But she always drives on Wednesday. That's true. Don't let her get you. All right, say goodbye. We're going to be late. Goodbye. We got to go now. Well, hello there. Let's see if I can do it right this time. Um, it was funny. I was just talking and talking, just carrying on. We were carrying on our regular conversation. I just happened to look at the camera, the phone or whatever, and uh, you weren't there. <laughs> you left me. You left me high and dry. Anyway, today is Wednesday, March 20th. I have just left dropping birdie off from our swim class um, next week is the last week and then they're on spring break and then we'll have one more week after that and then we're going to just start walking every day i think i told you that but i can't remember i think i told you when i was with birdie but anyway uh, when i started the car this morning they were playing a song and i don't remember what the name of the song was but um i think it was the rocky theme and i started talking about muhammad ali how i thought that he was just so cocky and conceited and I just um, was just so annoyed by him but then you know like looking back it wasn't so much that he was cocky is that he was confident he was confident that he was going to win he was confident that he was going to get in that ring and he was going to do it and there was no ifs ands or buts and he was going to do it and that's what I'm going to do I am going to do it I know I always say that but you know what I pride myself is in the fact that I, you know, you knock me down, but, you know, I'm going to get up. It, it might be harder each time to get up, but I still get up. I still manage to get up. And then, like, my opening quote with Donald Duck says, well, you know, maybe I'll start tomorrow. No. You know, tomorrow never comes, if you really think about it. Because when you wake up tomorrow, it's today. So you can very easily say, tomorrow I'll start. And then tomorrow never comes, because then it's today. <laughs> but... So I'm, I'm going to start today. I am going to start today. I, um, I'm going to Kroger's now because I have to get my weekly shopping in. It's Wednesday. I really pushed myself to the limit to get here till Wednesday because uh, it was... I, I'm just determined. I really am determined not to spend as much on my grocery bill this year. And I really did... I am noticing a difference that I am kind of cutting back a little bit. And I was... I'm really, really thinking my fruit. I'm... Depending on how much it costs, I'm probably still going to buy my fruit, but I'm going to have to rein it in. Uh, not eat it all at once like I do. Like at one meal, maybe just have blackberries, and at one meal, just have raspberries, and at another meal, just have strawberries. Something like that. Um, because, I don't know, it's just, 
I kind of feel like it's my own little crack. <laughs> you know, it's like crack cocaine to me, that my fruit. And it's it's not doing me that many favors, I think. I do have to figure out a way to eat smaller meals. I do eat too much at one time. It's um, I have to cut back on that. It, it'd be better for my body because it would give my blood sugar time to metabolize and you know really work at getting rid of the extra fat if I ate smaller meals. I could still eat when I want to eat because uh, it's just a matter of throwing that extra meal in. And, and as you've known, I've tried it in the past and it, it does seem to work. I do know that I need to eat more vegetables. I really do need to eat more vegetables. And um, someone had brought up too that I probably don't get enough protein. And you know, that's probably true. I don't think I get enough protein in a day. So I have to figure out a way to get more protein in. So I'm really rethinking. And then I have to change up my eating. Uh, I'm eating too much the same day in and day out. And, and it does, it really does get boring. Unfortunately, I never get tired of Burger King or Taco Bell or, you know, but really, if I'm going to be honest, there was a point in my life that sometimes it's just like, what do I want? I just don't, you know, like when I was not on a diet or was not eating healthy, I, well, you know, like sometimes I would just say, you know, I'm done with Burger King. I'm done with, you know, Taco Bell and Burger McDonald's and stuff like that. But, I don't know. It's just, I tell you, it's a work in progress. Somebody had asked me when my why I can eat so late. Um, I don't go to bed till about 2 o'clock in the morning. I go between 1 and 2 in the morning. Uh, I get up every morning at 5 o'clock without fail, no matter what time I go to bed, to go to the bathroom. Uh, my body's been trained for so many years to get up at 5 o'clock to go to the bathroom. And the longest I can extend that is till 6.30. This little girl ain't getting up at no 6.30 in the morning. So I, um, so I, I get up and go to the bathroom. I go back to bed, and I probably don't wake up. I wake up naturally about 8:30. I, I really only need like six, maybe seven hours sleep a night, and then I, I say my prayers, and then I uh, play games on my phone. I play Word Scrabble. I play Word Feud. I play Words with Friends. I play um, Trivia Crack solitaire and then I go read the news of the night see what I missed from yesterday I read the news feeds and then I read my email and then I go on Facebook and then I think you know what Sandy it's time to get your big old butt out of bed <laughs> by then it's about 9 30 and then I usually get up and either go to take a shower and go to water aerobics or I get up get dressed go for a walk when I get back drink my water and then uh go for um, go take my shower then and then just do my housework and things like that and then I eat usually one or two o'clock and then I eat my dinner like six or seven and uh, and then I usually um, well I always after I've closed up my video I get my pajamas on and I do my flossing and I brush my teeth and I rinse my mouth and all that crap all that stuff and uh, and then I don't eat anymore during the night I drink more water probably drink another 16 ounces of water through the night and I've even tried not drinking that thinking that I wouldn't get up at five o'clock to go to the bathroom but you know what no I still get up at five o'clock so that's just something I probably have forever and ever I don't know and I know that I'm old and old people are supposed to go to the early bird special I could never eat dinner at four or five or six o'clock I six six o'clock is like pushing it but I usually don't eat before seven and uh, and then I don't go to bed till two so I'm I guess I'm intermediate fasting, but I always say it works for me, but it's obviously not working for me because I'm not losing any weight. So I got to figure out something, and uh, and I'll keep trying until I find something that's successful for me. I am going to look through, like I said yesterday, I'm going to try to find some of my old um, journals and uh, see how I ate back then and try to get back to that kind of eating. But this, for this next coming week, I'm going to try to figure out some way to eat a little bit differently. I don't know how, but I'm going to figure something out. I'm going to eat a little bit differently and uh, see if that makes a difference. Like I said, I know I'm going to have a gain on Saturday, but I'm going to try to keep it 
less than the three pounds that I gained from yesterday and go from there. So let's go in here and see what kind of damage I can do. Okay, let's eat our breakfast because look what time it is. It's time to eat breakfast. I've been up since uh, 8 o'clock. I started my day with a prayer. I drank 50 ounces of water. My quote is, your desire to change must be greater than your desire to stay the same. I want to change. This is a very small breakfast for me. It's zero for my apple, my egg, banana, tea, and water, and one point for my cheese stick. It's a one point. I'm still going to eat a lunch today. Somehow I'll figure out, eat something light by maybe about four o'clock. Eat my dinner at seven. Okay, I didn't eat lunch, but I'm going to have um, a sloppy joe. So I'm going to use uh, four points for my onion hamburger roll. Uh, I'm going to try this Parmesan crisp. Um, I have some black beans and my manwich, water and tea, oh, cottage cheese, 4%. So uh, it's a, half, a quarter cup of Sloppy Joe's, the six points. I know that's high, but you know, I'm trying to change it up a little bit. Four points for my bun, three points for 18 grams of the Parmesan crisps. Zero for the beans, the tea, and the water, and three points for a half a cup of cottage cheese. It's 16 points. Um, here's my dinner. And let me see if I like these crisps. They're very small. But I'll let you know how I like them. Okay, here's the crisps. Look how small that is. It's so small. We'll, we'll taste them and see how we like them. I, I'm trying something different. This is what they look like. That's what they look like. So let's let's see if we like them. Oh, I do. Unfortunately, I don't know that 12 of them for the 18 grams is going to be enough. It's going to have to be. But a nice little snack for three points. I found something I like. Well, I finally figured out how I can stay on plan. Keep myself so busy that I'm never home. I um, went to uh, water aerobics and then I went to uh, get my groceries. And then I came home and prepped all my vegetables and cleaned up everything and put it in my little containers. And then I went to go pick up Alyssa from school. And now what else did I do? Oh, that's about it. <laughs> Just, well, it seems like I did a lot today, though. But I was busy the whole day. But I did stay on track. Uh, I am going to put a, um, a link down below for um, Color Me Influence channel. Um, she wasn't part of the collab for the five my fav five favorite um, meals. But she included her five favorite meals. So you might be interested in seeing that. So I'll put her link down below. So give her, um, give her a look. Give her a look-see. So um, tomorrow, I don't really have any plans. Oh, it's our couple's dinner tomorrow, so I am going out to eat. But I am gonna, I'm gonna leave the old Sandy home. I'm gonna put her in the back seat, and I'm gonna put make sure that she can't get out. And I'm gonna make some smart choices when I'm eating out. Uh, it's just at a little bar, so I, I can't go too bad. Who am I kidding? I can always go too bad. But I'm gonna be good. I really am. I'm gonna be good. And. Um, going to try my new eating style in the morning. I don't know what I'm going to have, but it'll be a little bit different. We'll see. But I'm going to have some lower points during the day so I can save them for my dinner. But in the, in the meantime, I'm going to go get my pajamas on and get ready for bed. Although I'm not going to bed now for another six hours. <laughs> I'm going to be ready. You're not going to say I'm not going to be ready. I'm going to be ready. <laughs> so give this video a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and share. And I will see you guys in the morning. Oh, you know what? It was funny. Well, it really wasn't funny, but it was, I can't believe that I didn't have the tape talk. <laughs> I didn't have my my phone. Yeah, rattling on. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Nobody was there to hear me but me.